Howdy friends, welcome back. I'm Trailblazer Tim. So in today's video, I want to show you how I go about making an age-old apparatus called a fire piston. Now a fire piston is an apparatus that's been around for a very long time. Seen a lot of different shapes and sizes and all that stuff. When it all comes down to it, it's the method of how to create a high heat with compressed air. Now you can find these little fire pistons online and buy them already made and stuff, but that's not what we're here to do today. I think one of the most popular methods of making one of these little fire starting apparatuses I've seen is people using little mini mag lights and such like that, even as well as plastic tubing. But if any of you all know me very well, I'm a plumber by trade and I'm gonna work with what I have to work with. And that's gonna be a half inch piece of copper pipe. All right, so I'm gonna start by cutting a piece of half inch copper pipe, exactly six inches. We're going to take that piece of six inch copper pipe and I'm going to ream one of the ends out real well to get a nice clean opening. Whatever you have to use, pocket knife, whatever, I've got a six in one tool, but we want that opening to be nice and smooth. Next I'm going to take a piece of sand cloth, this is aluminum oxide made for cleaning copper. And we're going to take the side that we did not ream and we're going to clean it real well. got a half inch copper cap. We're going to take a wire brush and we're going to clean the inside of that cap out real good. See? Show you what's next. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take and put some flux around that edge we cleaned. See that? Not a lot, just a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and slide our cap right onto that. Just like that. See it? Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to solder this cap onto this six inch piece of half inch copper. Cool that copper off nicely. Now what we're trying to create here is an airtight chamber. Because I'm a plumber, I went ahead and I did it the genuine way. But if you want to do this out of copper, I suppose you could go down to a big box store and maybe pick up like a half inch shark bite cap. Whatever it takes to make this chamber airtight. All right, now seeing that we've made our chamber for our fire piston, it's time for us to make the piston. Okay, so what we're gonna be using for our piston today is some hardwood half inch dowel. All right, I'm gonna have to cut this to size. Remember, our chamber, copper chamber, is six inches and it's a little bit more now that I got the cap. So I'm gonna take this piece of dowel and I'm gonna cut it at about seven inches. Okay, so here's where we're at. Chamber, piston. See that? Nice. Both half inch. One's an inner diameter, one's an outer diameter. But they're both considered half inch. Now on to working more on the piston. Now if you look closely, I've taken this piece of dowel that we cut and I've marked off an area at the end. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a sharp knife and I'm gonna put a groove in here and then we're gonna file a notch. All the way around here, I'm about a quarter inch from the very tip. We're gonna follow up with that little notching with the knife, and we're gonna take a rat tail file 
and we're gonna notch that out pretty good. Uh, we don't wanna go all the way through, but we wanna make it sizable enough so we can end up putting the next piece on here. So I have a bag of assorted O-rings here. And what we want to do is try to find one of these O-rings that's going to fit and pop in a place where that little notch is I just put on this piece of dowel. Nice and easy. There. See that? Let's see if it fits. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna work some more on this and we'll get back to the rest of the project. Okay, so on the opposite side from where we put our O-ring, I wanna put what I call is a stomper handle. I've got a little doorknob made out of wood and I wanna put it on the end of here, which is gonna require me to route this end out enough for this to slip inside and then I can put some crazy glue and that'll be all one stomper. That will be our piston. All right, so we're almost there. We just got a couple small things left to do. On the end that I have my O-ring, not the stomper handle, I'm going to take a drill bit and we're going to notch about a quarter inch depth in there without breaking through the sides. This is gonna be our chamber for our fuel. Now you have to have some sort of lubricant to make this work. In this case, because I am a plumber, I got some plumber's grease, and we're gonna rub it around on that O-ring. On it like that. That's beautiful. All right, moment of truth. Piston, cylinder. Let's see if we can create enough pressure in there to light that piece Char cloth. Wish me luck. Oh, can you see that? She started first try. <laughs> yes, now I can pluck that thing out, set it down in an ember full of tinder and all that stuff, and we got ourselves a fire. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Ah, <laughs> baby, yes. Hey, that's gonna do it for this one. Thanks so much for hanging out and watching the video. Man, that was fun. A fire piston. You gotta make sure these babies are airtight chambers on there though. There's a lot of little things you can do wrong uh, before you do right. And I somehow got it right the first time. It lit that thing up. You got to be able to have enough pressure for combustion inside of that chamber. And there's a lot of different methods of doing it. Like I said, I'm a plumber. This is what I had to work with. And that's what made it work. Got any questions, leave them down below. And thanks for hanging out. Until next time, I'll see you on the next adventure. Take care.